I spend an unhealthy amount of time on Facebook, and I come across people who still insist that the OK sign isn't a white power sign. It's like the 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 black knight in uh, in uh, Monty Python. They for some reason don't believe you know the entire history of the OK sign, and they just insist that it's whatever. They got a million fucking things. Started on 4chan. And it's about a bunch of white supremacists, uh, you know, a bunch of white supremacists decided to make the OK sign uh, a white supremacist symbol. And in their heart of hearts, they might have meant it as a prank, but first off, fascists have no sense of irony. They don't know what it means. There's no ironic racism on, on, on 4chan. You know what I mean? You can't be an ironic racist if you mean it. So, um... But these motherfuckers, these right-wingers, will still insist on it. It reminds me of, like, the Black Knight and Monty Python. Like, you chopped their arm off, and then they're like, no, you didn't. Anyways, one right-winger who still tries to keep keep this game going is, uh, is, uh, Tim Pool. Tim Pool here is, uh, with Joe Rogan. And, uh, these two bald fucks are gonna try to put their fucking, uh, their fucking flesh domes together. And try to try to wiggle their way out of this fucking uh, OK sign thing. Um, a lot of people call Tim Pool uh, Pim Tool, but I call him Jizz Pool. That's my nickname for Tim Pool is Jizz Pool, because frankly, I would rather dunk my head into a vat of horse semen than fucking listen to him talk. But unfortunately, I'm fresh out of horse semen. So, listen, you might think it's a prank, but if you're a white nationalist and you say the OK symbol is a white nationalist symbol, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter what your intentions are. If you say the OK symbol is not a white supremacist symbol, you're fucking lying. You're a fucking liar. You're a weaselly little liar. Context of 2018 when this happened. Yep. The, oh, the OK symbol doesn't even mean white power. Mm. It is is it is it is a tribal sign among anti anti intersectionals and Trump supporters. But I don't know what an anti intersectional, but Trump supporter is the equivalent of a white nationalist by definition, by policy and by definition. If you're a Trump supporter, you're a white nationalist. I can cite the Charlottesville thing. I can cite the uh, white power tweet that Donald Trump just retweeted recently. I can cite the Nazi symbol he put into a fucking campaign ad. I, <clears throat> I can cite his family separation policy, which was said by the wife of Steve Miller, is a white nationalist policy. Her complaint was that immigrants won't assimilate and she was complaining about there being such a thing as Chinatown. So, if, by Trump supporter, I'm assuming you mean white nationalist. I don't know what a fucking anti-intersectionalist is. There's no, I don't think there's any such a thing. There's no, that's a made-up word, unless you're like a furniture salesman. I don't know if that's a furniture term. But, uh, I know Adolf Reef... Adolf Reed and a bunch of other fucking like lefty academics have a problem with like intersectionality, but intersectionality is an academic term. I don't think that there's a bunch of fucking Harvard cultural study grads on 4chan debating race essentialism. So I have no idea what the fuck he means by anti-intersectionalist. That's a made-up fucking word. Don't you remember when what was there? There was a woman that got in trouble for Zena Bash. She was in court and she had it on her arm. She was just standing there like that. That's so insane. So insane because she was. That's so insane. That's so insane. That's Zena Bash, who worked for Sam Alito, who um, is a fucking racist, and is also helped design this. Uh, Family separation policy, this, this, this uh, idea that you can torture, psychologically torture children. And that will intimidate immigrants from coming into the country, which is fucking ridiculous because that's really un deeply underestimating the problems they have in their home country, which is why they're refugees in the fucking first place, but whatever. These concentration camps, 
the person they're referring to who made the OK symbol at the Kavanaugh hearing, that's what they're referring to. Uh, yeah, she's part of that. And I've seen the video. And in the video, she's sitting behind Kavanaugh, and there's a camera focused directly at her. And then she gets a text, she reaches down, she looks at the text, and then immediately does the thing right on her arm. She looks around to see if anybody notices. And then after about a minute or two, she pulls it down. And that was code to all the little Nazis that support Trump that, hey man, we're down. But watch these little fucking rat fucks. I mean, she had her finger in her yeah, thumb like that. Look, yeah, you, and, they mean, said, and they and they went wild with it. Yeah, she's making so white power symbol. You have to understand she's when I see that, power symbol. and I see that, you count right. me out. But there's a difference between someone just moving their hands around and doing this. By and, the way, they're talking about a fucking SWAT team, vice undercover cop, or uh, SWAT drug cops, afterwards making an OK signs. Like down like this, like they're in a fucking, like these fucking pussies are in a gang. You know, making a weird thing she on did, their arm. She did full on do it the next day, though. Probably on purpose. Fuck I, you. Maybe. So well, she did do it on purpose. She does. Okay. She puts but her listen, arm there. Yeah, it's just you, the okay you, sign. You have to assume she's right. watching the news then. Yes. I, I would. She's sitting at the camera. No, no. Actually, her friend was watching the news, and then he texted her and told her she was on camera, do a little white power sign, and she I did hear, it. But it's entirely possible, though albeit unlikely, that she was just telling somebody okay. Like, or listen, that she was, she's used to doing that with her arm, and she doesn't even think about it. There's... Joe You're Rogan's make such a little weasel. Right? Yeah. And operate off assumptions. He's so but eventually slippery. you start getting off so crazy. And, you know, how many assumptions are you going to believe right. until you believe in the moon landing was fake? Let me ask you this, though. Don't... Wrong show for that. You're fucking, the guy you're talking to believes the moon landing is fake. And by the way, you don't get to backtrack. I know some people are going to be like, well, he backtracked. You can't backtrack the moon landing. You think that some people. Once you do believe that, that shit, it's a tattoo. It because they're making the symbol for white power. Some as in what? 10, 15, 20? I what? I, mean, I, I think I don't know about a number. Like one. I said, listen, nothing's absolute. I'd be. I'm pretty sure there are probably some. God, he is so annoying. Yeah. But here's the thing: most of people who what are on fortune, stupid head, who would even use the emoji, who would do it in public, they're not doing it to signal white power. They're doing it to signal opposition to the tribal left. Which? Well, I don't know what the tribal left is, but the like we're not fucking tribes, dude. It's just the left. And what aspects of the left would they be opposing? When they take photos and you see someone like Cassandra Fairbanks. Cassandra who is Fairbanks. Who's a Trump supporting, you know, writer. Who's a Trump supporter who's who was urging Donald Trump to use violence in order to shut down the George Floyd protests because she's anti BLM. Flashed an OK symbol in the White House with Mike Cernovich who said that it was a good thing that Trayvon Martin died because all black men grow up to be rapists. She has, she, she's, she's notable because she stood at the podium, made the okay hand sign, and then this writer from Splinter News, which uh, used to be called Fusion, I worked there, full disclosure. Full disclosure. He's trying to give himself legitimacy as if he's not some fucking normal, like some fucking normy little fucking establishment fucking YouTuber with a fucking $10 gas station hat. Claimed it was a white power hand gesture. It was a white power and hand gesture. And she got uh, uh, Cassandra sued over it. She ultimately lo lost because Wait. it's like, you know, free slander is hard to sue for. Boom. He just lied right there. You notice how he little pulled that one off? No. The judge said that he knew that was a white power hand symbol and her intentions were completely fucking irrelevant. Whether or not she's an actual white supremacist is irrelevant because her intention was to create the illusion that she was flashing a white power hand symbol. Whether, whether or not it was a joke is irrelevant. That's why it's a little strange that you never see, if it's just a prank, you never see lefties fucking doing it. Isn't that weird? It's only people who actually believe in white nationalism are flashing the OK symbol. And yet it's not a white nationalist hand symbol because, well, their intentions were that it was a prank. It's like, well, it's like you go to rob a bank, right? And you don't really need the money. And you plan on returning the money, but you get caught before you could return the money. So you go to court and you say, Your Honor, 
I did. I, it's true. I robbed the bank, but I didn't mean it. But she did it because it's a Trump sign, not because it's white power. That's so the, the people. Who, what's the difference between a Trump sign and a white power sign? Like, w w what are the differences? What, what, can you can you name a couple points? Would it be ten, fifteen? Like, how many degrees separated are you? He's like one degree from David Duke. I think David Duke gave him an endorsement and he thanked him for it, but whatever, moving or on. Or even white supremacists aren't signifying white power, they're signaling to other Trump supporters too, right? It doesn't mean white power. Yes, it right. does. So just because, because Trump someone supporters. on the left says it means white power, that does not mean it means white power within their group. Is that what you're saying? But the people on the left didn't say it meant white power. People on the right said it was right, white power. White nationalists said it meant white power. Thing. You, yeah, it just, like we all just decide that this means something else. Like my friend Steve, means uh, peace among peace among nations, uh, peace my, among worlds. My friend Steve Rinella uh, would talked about this in the podcast. He got beat up once by his friend, where uh, he grew up in Michigan, and in Michigan, as almost like for fun, like like if I said, "Hey, fucker." Like, if I called you, hey, fucker, like, as friends, yeah. you, know, you would laugh and, like, what's up, dude? You know, it'd be cool. So we all do that. So he would right. give the bird, and they would yep. call it the Michigan hello. Yep. Yeah. And so the so Michigan what? wave or something like that. So as he was driving by, he saw his friend, he went like that. Like, if I saw you do that, I'd be like, ah, what's up, Tim? There was a... Uh, but, you know, but his friend didn't know this, so his friend... He grabbed him through the to the ground. He goes, "You want to fight, motherfucker?" He's right. like, "What are you talking about? Like, what's going on?" He's like, "You gave me the bird." He's like, "Oh, Jesus, bro, I'm from Michigan." <laughs> yeah, like, from that's, Michigan. We're having fun. Like, right. that's just I'm your friend. And, yeah. he, and he was over the guy's house, helping him build a greenhouse or something. Like, you, yeah, dude, I think your friend's fucking crazy. So you're saying that your friend, that two guys who are friends, one of them gave the finger to his friend, and his friend's immediate reaction was to beat the shit out of him. Is your friend a fucking dog? What? I can't believe he just fucking... Okay. He was doing some work with the guy. I the guy think... still threw him to the ground because he thought that this was... No, oh, because he's crazy. No? There's, naturally, there's going to be a ton of people, you know, saying, oh, Tim's bootlicker and all that stuff. Oh, your wife. Like... Okay. Here's the thing about that term, bootlicker. Um, like, you know, if uh, I met Miley Cyrus and she had a pair of boots, I'd be a bootlicker. You know, you're ruining, you're taking the fun. Tim Pool, I'm sorry, Jizz Pool, I'm sorry, pit, Poop Pool, Piss Pool, Shit Pool, whatever his name is. Kitty Pool here is taking the fucking fun out of bootlicking. Premises, they're Dude, listen, man. Like, I'm not, I, I, I do not, I'm not a big fan of conspiracy theories. I'm not a big fan of making assumptions about the intentions of other people. If you can, he um he is a big fan of conspiracy theories. He believes that the uh, Twitter is conspiring against uh, right wingers, and uh, he believes that um, the news media is conspiring against Trump. I think he believes that the government is conspiring to hide aliens. Um, something I heard some weird shit about solar flares. He thinks that um, the Amazon rainforest fires aren't happening, but whatever. Prove it. I'm willing to hear it. But people in this country are innocent until proven guilty. What do we have? We have a photo of some cops doing something dumb. Right. Okay. See, he's referring... Um, okay. Innocent until proven guilty. Well, Jinspool here um, believes that um, the government has every right in the world to black bag protesters. Um, specifically, this uh, guy, Pettybone, who was just walking down the street... He was scooped up into a minivan by somebody. He, he, he does, they didn't know who they were because they didn't identify themselves. Luckily, he didn't go to some fucking cabin in the woods and these weren't fucking militiamen. Luckily, these were fucking feds of some kind. Their group was still un unidentified. Their department was unidentified. And then they let them go after a few minutes. They, they let these guys go. They've been doing this all across the country. And it's a clear violation, according to the ACLU and about... In every fucking state attorney in every fucking state, it's illegal. It's unconstitutional. There were no charges. There was no probable cause. The proof of that is, is because not only were they not charged, there was no record of their arrest or their uh, of their being held, of them being held at all. But go on with your innocent till proven guilty. Uh, kitty pool. Do I think it was ill-advised? It was wrong. It shouldn't have done it. Oh, of course, absolutely shouldn't have done it. Do I think it means they're white supremacists? No. Okay. Well, if it doesn't mean they're not white supremacists, why shouldn't they have done it? I don't even understand. They're, they're cops. Yeah. I'm not gonna look. They're cops. I've, I. They're cops. 
And they were suspended for two weeks, so their boss believed it was a white power sign, so. I am no fan of police. She's totally I, you know, a fan I, of the I, police. I grew up as like a, a left, far left anarchist skateboarder. A cop screw with me all the time. I... Okay, I grew up as a far left anarchist skateboarder. This motherfucker's not a skateboarder. You can tell by the way he could, by the way he fucking dresses. Nobody, no fucking skateboarder wears a fucking ten dollar gas station fucking cap over their head, just because they're going bald. Most skateboarders don't grow up to be fucking bootlickers, as he calls it. The only thing he's telling me, even if that were true, I think Tim Pool, Jizz Pool here, is admitting he's a cuck. I've had cops kick my door and guns drawn. I was in Chicago. And, and yet here you are. And cops pulled me over, me and my buddies, this is all on video, at gunpoint, screaming at us. It was the craziest experience I've ever had. I am no And you walked away from and you walked away from that thinking, Wow, we need more authoritarianism in the world. Oh no fan. But yeah, you if right. you don't have evidence, I'm not just gonna so this is the thing about how, how these biases function. You get people who will see all these videos, a lot of these experiences, and they'll immediately assume the worst about these guys. I don't know anything about these guys. They're I know cops. they did something dumb, but I don't know why. So I can't yeah, really do. go beyond that. Told you. Other than I, I believe their official statement was they were playing the game. By the game, he means some game where you go like this, and then somebody punches you or some shit like that. You know where that game came from? Malcolm in the Middle. He's suggesting that these cops are such huge fans of the show Malcolm in the Middle that they're playing a little game that they got from watching Malcolm in the Middle. They're, they're Malcolm in the Middle bros, and they're being like, Malcolm in the Middle rules, baby. But I could be wrong. But to, to make assumptions about their character or what they believe simply because they made an okay sign on their leg, it's like, you can't convict somebody in a court. You know what I mean? Yeah, and but it wasn't I, illegal, stupid. You don't have to convict somebody in a court. We're talking about what their intentions were, what I think their intentions are versus what you think their intentions are. The truth is, is uh, the difference between me and you is you're a fucking liar. I'm, I'm a big fan of... The presumption of innocence, no, Blackstone's not. formulation, and no, how we not. side on the... Uh, we, we and are... by the way, saying Blackstone's formulation doesn't mean anyone's going to think you're smart. On the side of protecting the innocent. I think no, you got not. a good point in also in the fact that this is an extremely recent hand gesture that's being associated with white supremacy and clearly came from pranksters. And you have to assume these guys are on 4chan? This... Uh, or, or read these, these websites? Right. Like, the same pranksters... Who attacked Bar Barrett? Was a was a what's his name? Newman, uh, the sculpture. The was it Barney Newman? Barnett Newman? Barman Bailey Newman? Yeah, he was Jewish. The Jewish artist. He made a sculpture. They vandalized the sculpture, and then they left a bunch of signs that said, uh, "It's okay to be white." It's part of the 4chan. It's okay to be white campaign. Is that the same people? Come on, man. These dudes, they probably go to work all day. They talk about football. They go home. They sit in their lounge chair and have a, you know, have a beer and a slice of pizza or whatever. A beer and a slice of fucking pizza? I'm sorry. Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Like, what kind of suburban fucking talk is that? A beer and a slice of pizza? That's, is they, they... that's his, like, his, his, his impression of what alpha males are is something he sees on fucking Law & Order. Do. I don't think these guys... People... Man, you know, people don't know how to separate their own personal bubble from reality. They exactly. That's the key right there. That's why people continue. He just hit the nail on the head. That's why people continue to think that this OK sign is working, that it's still a prank. See, the idea is you flash the OK sign, then everyone goes, you're crazy. That's the idea. It's like a gaslighting thing. But they because they seem to be unaware that we, the left, go inside of their bubbles all the time. They remind me, right-wingers who still cling on to this okay sign, or right-wingers in general, and everything that they say and all their talking points, reminds me of a dude in a car who's like picking his nose, who's unaware that everyone can see him. I pick my nose in the car because I don't give a fuck. I think uh, Jizz Pool here, I think he eats his boogers. Soon, if it I just know seems it, like an eating it, the boogers right? kind of guy. It's actually something uh, Shane Smith told me. Shane he Smith he isn't a person. I don't know who that is. Why is that's it not that a real if person. he can do it, you can't, right? And that's it's like an interesting point that people don't seem to realize. What do you mean, brother? I feel that way about their bald heads. If Joe Rogan can be bald, why can't you? I don't know if you guys know this, but Tim Pool, Kitty Pool. He wears, uh, he wears this $10 gas station uh, snow cap in Southern California because he has a bald head. 
And by the way, when I say bald, I mean like fucking like hair on the crown, taint in the middle. Like fucking Siskel and Ebert bald, like Larry David bald, like uh, like the time to make the donuts guy if he like stopped eating donuts. That's who he reminds me of. Um, and frankly, I think that kind of bald is dope. I don't think that's anything to be embarrassed about, but see, the thing is, is he has no fucking self, sense of self-worth. He's a fucking cuck. He admitted it himself. He sold out. Personally, see, I got a receding hairline that stopped around the age of 20-something. When I get up on stage, it's very hard because it makes me like seem more intimidating than I actually am in person. It gives me a kind of a... I've gotten the, uh, like, it gives me a kind of Ukrainian heroin dealer look, you know? Now, if I had his kind of bald, like I said, crown taint, you could smack an egg right on it. I would be like, dude, I'd be rocking like a brown suit. I'd look like a math teacher, right? I'd rock a brown suit, maybe a sweater vest with a tie. Get up on fucking stage, dude, and I just say the filthiest fucking things. And I could totally pull off that look and still get fucking pussy because it's all about how you carry it. And that's, this is like a fucking uh, comparison. This is like a comparative study of, uh, I don't like Joe Rogan, but I will say this. At least he has the confidence to be bald, this motherfucker. And dude, that's the reason I can't, I doubt he's a skateboarder because why is his headgear so fucking lame? Like, he's, he said to me, I can speak French, why can't you? Like, people live in this mindset right. where they assume if I know it, everyone knows it. Right, okay. So, so they're going to be like, no, every, I, I saw an article about that, everyone must know what it is. It's like, no, 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 no dude. There are some people who don't watch TV. Everyone saw there that article, There are some people dude. who play video games all day. There are yeah. some people who don't do any of that. For all There's you know, some people who hang out in little white supremacist clubs and say, hey, man, this is our sign. These guys... They, every day after work, they go to a children's shelter and, 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 and provide soup. Kids? And they don't... Soup. Ooh, God, watch the news so at all. Gross. Like, I'm not, I don't believe that they actually writer, do. I'm just dude. saying, you have no idea what's going on in their lives. You're making right. assumptions about what they know, who they are. And I think, He's you know, I, I, I'm a firm believer that we have problems with racism in this country. I believe uh, institutional... Um, yeah, he is a firm believer that we have racism in this country. He just doesn't have a problem Systemic with racism. Real, real problems need to be solved. All that stuff. All that, that stuff. That still doesn't mean you get to just label someone and make assumptions about what they believe, who they are, because of one thing. I can if they fucking tell me. You know, if, if, if you made a, uh, if you made... I, dude, how, listen, this guy fancies himself as some kind of intellectual, yet he doesn't fucking know that nobody calls himself a racist anymore. You know... The idea that, that you're not a racist until somebody tells you he's a fucking racist. And by the way, I think if somebody actually said they're a racist to this little weasel, this racist little weasel, he'd probably fucking be like, yeah, I still don't believe you. Jizz pool here, if you fucking sat there and called Hitler a Nazi, Jizz pool here would be like, well, hey, listen, you might not agree with all of his politics, but uh, that doesn't make a, you know, that doesn't mean that doesn't give you the right to call him a Nazi. The joke. What if what if they did it because they were ironically doing it? Right. If you made a joke ten years ago, am I gonna? Again, you can't be you can't do ironic racism if you're a racist. That's not how irony works. Assume you actually this guy's a writer. It. Maybe said something silly. You know, we had this newscaster in New York who who accidentally said Martin, Martin Luther. Luther Spoon. Yeah. You know. Uh, and I yeah see the thing about the guy that said Martin Luther or whatever is he was probably saying that off camera I mean how would that get into your mouth how would that just slip out of your fucking mouth I never once okay and, and, and it happened point, again you know another, guy another one yep. recently and you also uh, and, and another thing happened that no one cared about was uh, a guy on CNN said a racial slur for Jewish people in the same way no one cared about that one yeah they did he got fired you're you an know? idiot so there was a CNN anchor. What did he say? He likes to lie. I, I don't a want lot. to say it. Okay. But he was. He was. He was. He was I know he word. said. Right. <laughs> I think he could still say it as long as you're not calling and he, anybody. And he, it was the same thing. He quickly fixed himself. Right. And that he used. He used Jew as a verb. Didn't come up as an issue. But the right. point is, this dude. You know. And he was fired. Why? Why is he being fired? Right. right. Even people came to his defense. Are you going to assume nasty things about him? Like, are we really yeah. getting to the point? Why where we're not? gonna look at a photo, we don't know the context, we don't know who these people are. We, we don't know the context. They were cops, flashing white power symbols. They were suspended for two weeks. 
Because even their boss didn't believe him. And the, and I think, I mean, how often do the police admit guilt? And we're going to be like, burn him at the stake. Well, the well, nobody got burned at the stake. They got suspended for two weeks. Here's the fucking thing. Well, they embrace the strong man. Yeah. yeah. It's just really, really, it's the bald thing that's the saddest of all. Because, like, all he has to do is change his fucking wardrobe. And it would just change his fucking life. But then again, you gotta be a man to do something like that. You gotta be a man to have pride in who you are as a person. And this motherfucker has no pride. Kitty Pool has no pride in himself. He never will. All he cares about is the dollar.